configure IPv4 and IPv6 static and default routes. This topology. Use routers um, pocket tracer 4321. Switches 2960 Use uh, copper cables Faucet Ethernet 4 between switches Digabit 0, 0, 001 to 5 from R1 to S1 and gigabit 001 from R2 to facet Ethernet 5 on S2 and between routers gigabit 000 okay. loopback interfaces loopback 1 and loopback 2 This is the addressing table. Okay, this is the IP address on R1 on gigabit 000 here. So the network will be this 1024. This is the network address, not the host address, the network address. And for gigabit 001. This is the, the IP address. So the network should be 1024. Look back one on R1, 1010124 is the host address. You can allow the, now in the, Network is 10100024. Look back to 2965200225. So the network will be 2965200224, prefix 27. And on R2 gigabit 00, zero on 172 network, very good. And gigabit 001 zero, zero one on 182 168 network, very good. Look back one, 10 to zero one, 24. Okay, 10 to zero, uh, zero 24, the network address. And for loopback 2, 209, 200, the network address, and prefix 27. And finally, the IPv6 uh, networks, okay, for gigabit 000, this, db8 acad 2 column column on 64 this is the the network for gigabit 01 is network number one okay one for loopback one ten Ten. 
for Lubak 2, 2 of 9. Two of nine. On R2, loop back one, eleven. And for loop back two, two hundred ten. Okay, very good. Okay, but these are network addresses. Network addresses, not host addresses. But I will place the host addresses here. For example, gigabit 000 is 1 for 172.16.1. One IP address 1 gigabit 000 1 also for IPv6 gigabit 000 1 on 192 one network is host one gigabit zero zero one host one also for IPv6 loop back one is one For IPv4 and for IPv6, loop up one is one. And for loop back two, 225 for IPv4 and for IPv6 is one. Before IPv4 225 and for IPv6 column column one. Okay, so this is the network address and this is the host address. Network address and host address. And for gigabit zero zero on one seventy two. 16 one network is number two. The host address is two. And gigabit zero zero is two. Also for IPv6. Gigabit zero one, two for IPv4, two for IPv6. Two on gigabit zero zero one IP address two loop back one one for IPv4 and two for IPv6 for IPv4 is one that one The host address is one, and for IPv6, the host address is two. Column, column, two. For loopback two, IPv4, 193. And for IPv6 is one. Column, column one.
Okay, very good. Okay, network address, host address, network address, host address, network address, host address. Build the network, already done, cable the network, already done. Configure basic settings for each router. Assign a device name to the router. This another configurations were made in another lab, so for me it's optional. Configure basic settings for each switch. Assign a device name to the switch. This another configurations. This another configurations for me are optional. Issuing the command show CDP neighbors at this point on R1 or R2 results in an empty list. Explain. For example, go to R1. Mm. Now, enable show CDP neighbors. and no devices in the list. And the answer here is uh, because the router interfaces are shut down by default. Okay. On routers, interfaces are shut down by default. So you have um, a red indicator here. Configure and verify IPv4 and IPv6 addressing on R1 and R2. Configure IP addresses for both routers. Go to R1. Configure terminal. Set the host name. Host name R1. Enable IPv6 unicast routing. IPv6 unicast dash routing. IP address, IP addresses, all configurations on R1, gigabit 00, zero. interface gigabit 00, zero, zero, zero. IP address, 172, 16, 24 is this, IPv6 address, 2001 db8 acad 2 column column 1 prefix 64 uh, ipv6 address fb80 column column 1 link local address and there, enable the physical interface with no shutdown command now gigabit 01 gigabit uh, 01 192.168.11.24 IPv6 address is 1 colon colon 1 1 colon colon 1 64 same link local address uh, enable the physical interface with no shutdown now uh, logical interface loopback 1 Interface loop back one. Enter. Okay. Loop back one. Change state to up. Okay. Uh, IP address 10101.24. IPv6 address 10 colon colon one. 10 column column 1 64 same link local address okay. 
Okay, the interface already uh, stayed up, so no shutdown is not necessary. Loopback 2, Loopback 2, IP address 209, 165, 200, 225, 27 prefixes, 224, IPv6 address. 209, 209, column, column 1, prefix 64. Same link local address. Very good. Exit. Configure R2, gigabit 000, zero, zero. go to R2. Now enter enable configure terminal hostname R2 interface gigabit 000 IP address 172612 subnet mask 24 IPv6 address 2001 DBA ACAD column 2 column column 2 prefix 64 okay Column, column 2, prefix 64. Enter. IPv6 address. FE80, column, column 2. Column, column 2, link local. Enter. Now shut down to enable this physical interface. Enter, enter. Gigabit 001. Gigabit 001, 192, 168, 12, subnet mask 24, uh, IPv6, 1, column, column 2, 64, same link local address, enter, and not shut down. Loopback 1, interface loopback 1, enter, enter, IP address 10201, subnet mask 24, enter, the IPv6 address is 11, column, column 2, same link local address, and Now configure Lubac 2. Lubac 2, enter IP address 209, 165, 200, 183, 27 is 224. IPv6 address 210, column, column 1, prefix 64. Enter, use the same link local address, and exit. And when you configure IPv6 addresses, don't forget to enable IPv6 unicast routing. IPv6 unicast routing. Okay, don't forget that. Enable IPv6 unicast routing on both routers. On R1, Already configured IPv6 unicast routing, um, configure on also on R2. Verify. For example, verify on R1. Enter and on R1 on privilege action mode. Show IP interface brief. Okay, the IP before host addresses. If you want to see the network addresses, you can use show IP root command. And you can see 
for directly connected networks on letter C. For directly connected networks. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Show IP route, uh, show IP route shows network addresses. And show IP interface brief shows host addresses. But also, but also this local uh, this local route shows the host address. For example, on gigabit 001, the network address is 192.168.10 per fixed 24. On gigabit 001, the network address is 192.168.10.24. But the host address is one. When I two one sixty eight one one. Okay, and the host address with local when gigabit zero zero one is one I two one sixty eight one one. Or on this another output gigabit zero zero one one eight two one sixty eight one one. Another example. Look back to network address 209, 165, 200, 224, prefix 27. Look back to directly connected network 209, 165, 200, 224, prefix 27. But host address is 225. Host address 225. And look back to host address 225. Very good. Also verify on R2. And show IP interface brief. Enter. Host addresses for host addresses. Show IP root. For directly connected networks. Configure and verify static and default routing for IPv4 on R1 and R2. On R1, configure a static route. Use ping command to ensure that R2's gigabit 001 interface is reachable. Okay. From R1, ping IP address of gigabit 001 on R2. Okay, R1. Ping to this IP address 192.168.1.2. Success. Configure a static route for R2 Slubak 1 network. configure terminal IP route R2 loopback one network okay this is R2 uh, this is the network address of loopback one 102024 10 to 10.20024 is this subnet mask via R2 gigabit 001 address via gigabit 001 address okay but in this case use the host address 192.168.1.2 Okay, go to R1, and is this, 192.168.1.2. 192.168.1.2. Enter. On R1, configure static default route. 
Ping command to ensure R2 gigabit 00, zero interface is reachable. From R1, ping to gigabit 00, zero IP address. Okay. And ping. And gigabit 000, zero, zero on R2 is 172.16.1.2. One seventy two sixteen one two success. Configure a static default route. Configure terminal. IP route default the static route is this zero 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 zero. Via R two gigabit zero zero others. Via. R2 gigabit 00 address 172.16.1.2 the host address 172.16.1.2 okay this this IP address and the configure a floating on R1 configure floating a static default route on R1, IP root, default static root, okay, configure a floating static default root, administrative distance of AD via R2 gigabit 001 address. And this is gigabit 001 interface on R2 and the IP address of this is 182.168.1.2 the host address 192.168.1.2 okay this IP address but don't forget administrative distance of 80 space 80 so this is the administrative distance AD and the default value for this is uh, 1 but now the specific value is AD and when you change the administrative distance this static route is now um, Floating static route. Enter. On R2, configure a static default route. Okay, go to R2. Ping command to ensure that R1's gigabit 00, zero interface is reachable. From R2, ping gigabit 000, zero zero IP address on R1. And the host is 172.16.1.1. Ping 172.16.1.1. Success. Configure a static default route. Configure terminal IP route. Default route is this. Via R1 gigabit 00, zero others. This IP others. Gigabit 00, zero is 1. 172.16.1.1. 172.16.1.1. Enter. Verify that the routes are operational. Show IP routes on R1. Go to R1 and show IP routes. Directly connected network 10.100. This 10.100. A static route to 10.200. A static route to 10.200. Directly connected network 172.16.10. Directly connected network 172.16.10. Directly connected network 182.168.10. 182.168.10. Directly connected network 209, 165, 200, 224. 
directly connected network 209, 165, 200, 224. Okay, and default static route to reach another another networks that are not placed on this table, on this list. Okay. Trace on R1, trace route 10, 201. On R1, trace route to 10, 201. Loop back one on, loop back one on R2. Trace route 10, 201. Enter. Okay, very good. One hop, one ninety one sixty eight one two. Okay, is this IP address the IP address of gigabit? The IP address of gigabit zero zero one on R on R two one eight two one sixty eight one two. Because if you if you see the routing table okay if you want to reach 10 to 001 host you will use 192.168.12 and here if you want to reach 10 0, 0, 0 network you will use 192.168.12 very good trace on r1 trace root 209.165.200.183 Trace root 201.165.200.183 Enter Success One hop 172.16.12 172.16.12 The IP address of gigabit 000 on R2 Okay to reach 209.165.200.193 host. Verify the routing table. Okay. There are no routes to reach uh, 209.165.200.192 network. Okay, this is uh, 224. It's not. Uh, it's not the route. Okay. I want a route to reach 209.165.200.192 network. If the if the route is not placed in this in this list, router will use the default route. So the default static route will be used to reach uh, that network and via 172.16.12. Via 172.16.12. Shut down command on R1 gigabit 00. Okay, go to R1, R1, configure terminal, interface gigabit 000, shut down. Enter, enter. Okay, now the indicator is red. Demonstrate that the floating static route is working. Show IP root static command on R1. R1 and show IP root static. Now you have two static routes. And this is the default route. Or use the following command show IP root to compare. Okay. This is the routing table after shutdown the interface gigabit 00 on R1 and the default static route has an, an administrative distance of 80 via 192.168.12. Before to shut down the interface, the default route has an administrative distance of 1 via 172.16.12 so they are different because uh, floating the default static route was configured and now 
takes place. Demonstrate floating a static route as working. Okay. Trace route. Uh, repeat the command trace route 209.165.200.193. Enter. Okay, and we'll reach using 182.168.12. 182.168.12 to reach this network from R1 to reach 209.165.200.192 network. Okay, and now. Before to shut down the interface, you go bit 00 on R1 to reach 209165 200 193 172 is used. This interface, gigabit 00 on R2. But after, but after to reach 209165 200 193 192 was used. And this, uh, Gigabit 001 interface on R2. Now shut down on R1 Gigabit 000. Configure terminal on R1 interface Gigabit 000. No shut down. No space shut down. Enter, enter. Now it's in green. Configure and verify static and default routing for IPv6 on R1 and R2. On R2, configure static route. Ping command to ensure that R1's gigabit 001 interface is reachable. Okay, go to R2. Uh, enter, enable ping to R1's gigabit 001. R1 gigabit 001 is this 2001 db8 ACAD 1 column column 1 the host address 2001 db8 ACAD 1 column column 1 1 column column 1 enter Success. Configure static route. Configure terminal. IPv6 route. Okay, sorry. IPv6 as IPv6 route space for R1's loopback one network. For R1's Loopback one network. This is the network 10 0 0 prefix 64 2001 db8 ACAD 10 column column prefix 64. This is the network address, the destination via R1 gigabit 0 0 1 address via gigabit 0 0 1 IPv6 address on R1. And is this one column column one? Okay, go to R2 and is this IP? IPv6 address one column column one two zero zero one column DBA column ACAD column one column column one. Enter on R2 configure a static default route ping. To ensure that R1 gigabit 00 interface is reachable. Okay, from R2, ping gigabit 000 IP address on R1. The IP address is 2 column column 1. Okay, and repeat uh, 2 column column 1. Enter. Success. Configure static default root, configure terminal, IPv6, root, space. The default static root on IPv6 is this, column, column, zero, space, via R1 gigabit 00, zero address, okay, via this address, two, column, column, one, gigabit 000, zero, zero on R1, two, 
colon colon one the host address two zero zero one dba acad two colon colon one enter on R2 configure a floating static default route configure a floating static default route okay. IPv6 route the default static route administrative dis distance 80 R2 gigabit 001 address Okay, this should be on R1's gigabit 001 address. Okay. Configure a floating static default route with administrative distance of AD via R1 gigabit 001 address. Okay, this is the gigabit 001 address on R1. And the IP address on IPv6 is column one, column, column one, the host address. Go to R2. 2001 db8 acad one column column one one column column one and don't forget and don't forget if it's a floating static default route use administrative distance of 80 space 80 Enter. On R1, configure a static default route. Go to R1. Ping to ensure R2 gigabit 00 interface is reachable. This is gigabit 00 interface on R2. Two column column two, the host address. And ping two zero zero one dba acad two column column two enter success configure static default route configure terminal ipv6 root space default static route column column zero via r2 gigabit zero zero address using these address two column column two 2001 db8 acad column 2 column column 2 enter verify show ipv6 root on r2 okay on r2 go to r2 and show ipv6 root enter A static default route, administrative distance of one by default, via two column column one. Okay, two directly connected networks, one network and two network, two directly connected networks, one network and two network. Static route to reach the network number 10. Static route to reach the network number 10. Two directly connected networks, 11 and 210. Two directly connected networks, 11 and 210. On R2, trace route. 10 column column 1 from R2 trace route to this 10 column column 1 the host address of loopback 1 being 2001 db8 acad acad 10 column column 1 enter success okay with use trace route Okay, repeat the command and use trace root here. Enter. Okay, only one hop and use uh, one column column one. And use this gigabit 
zero zero one one column column one okay to reach from r2 to loop back one on r1 now on r2 trace root to 209 column column one from r2 trace root to 209 column column one the host address of loopback 2 trace root 209 column column one success and uses two column column one uses gigabit zero 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 on r1 two column column one okay very good shutdown command on r2 gigabit zero 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 okay on r2 Come to your terminal interface, you got zero, 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 shut down, enter. Demonstrate floating static root is working. Show IPv6 root static. Okay, and show IPv6 root static, enter. Okay, Pocket Tracer does not support this command. Um, a real device will support this command, but use uh, show IPv6 root instead. Enter. Okay, this is the IPv6 routing table after shut down the interface gigabit 00 on R2. And review this default static route, administrative distance 80 via. One column column one. And before to shut down the interface, the default static root use it uh, administrative distance of one via two column column one. Trace root two of nine column column one. Trace root two of nine column column one enter success and before uh, after shut down the interface to reach two of nine from R two to reach uh, two of nine network from R two now is used one column column one now is used. This interface you can be zero zero one on R one one column column one. But before to shut down the interface to reach two on nine network from R two two column column one was used. Okay, to reach from R two to two on nine network. Before to shut down the interface, gigabit 000 was used on R1, two column column one, two column column one. Okay. Thank you very much.